friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. Today we are unboxing the January 2020 cloth and paper subscription box. I subscribe to both the planner and the Pinspiration box, so I am going to show you both and do a pen test so that you can see all of the pins. Before I jump into it, I will share last month's box, the December box. There I never know what the names of the pins are. I actually do this month. So I make up names for them. So I had made up the name Red Dragon for this pin. Um, and I could not figure out what it was. But I did a little research, found it on Amazon. And it is a brush pin. Um, it's called Zebra Feudy Brush Pin. And um, I think I also missed that it has two tips this one is the thicker one and then it has a thinner tip as well um and so i've been practicing my brush lettering and this pen works great for that purpose so if you're looking for um, a brush lettering pen i like tombow but this i really like this pen i'm trying to get my thick and thin strokes down so I've been practicing with it, but it is available on <clears throat> Amazon. It again is the Feudy brush pin from Zebra. It's got a medium and a fine point, um, and it's six dollars and twenty-four cents. So, if you're interested in that pin or wanted to know more about it, now you know. All right, so getting into this month's box. So, cloth and paper has revamped the packaging. And so the top of the box here says um, there is luxury in simplicity. The box is um, definitely wider and longer. It's a bigger box and um, it's got the packaging in, insert in here so that everything sort of is held in place. So these are the um, pins. The one thing I will say about like if you save this, um, up against the black box, it is rubbing on here and rubbing off. So that's one of the, the downfalls of not having it like inside of the box with the tissue paper. Um, you're going to get rub off from the box. But those are where the pins are at. We'll go over those in a second. And then we've got our cards here. And same thing with this, like it's rubbing off on here um, just because it's up against the black so that was one of the nice things about the tissue. So we've got um, journaling cards, pen test sheet, and a menu card. And we'll go through all those in just a sec. And I'm just going to pull this out and move the box. Okay. So, yes, I did just push it on the floor. Um, all right, so this card, you can put your month there at the top. Um, you can fill in the calendar. I like that it's blank, so if you don't want to use it for February or whatever month is upcoming, you kind of just have your choice, and then there's a place for important dates. Then we have um, a prompt for the month. It says, it is better to fail in originality than to succeed in imitation. And on the back, it says, this month we're visualizing what we want the next 12 to resemble. Take some time to write out your goals, habits, and aspirations you have for January and the rest of the year. So I like that. I may do it somewhere else. I don't typically write on things. Um, we'll come back to the pen test card. So let's talk about what's inside. So the first thing we have is our matchstick page flags. And this is palette volume 2E. And you've got what looks like, um, you're going to see a lot of this color, but it's the same color that's here. It's almost like a mustard gold color. And then black and like a rose-ish blush pink color. And, uh, and here's for the page flags. If you would 
see if I can give you a better idea. This gold, mustard gold color is pretty deep. So that's that one, just one. Because they do look different when you peel them off versus them stacked on top of each other. And then there's the black. And there's like the blush. So I'm sure they have real names, but that's what we're calling them today. Uh, let's see, let me just double check. Oh, they do have the names here. Okay, so we have Tuscany, Cafe Noir, and Angora. That does not look like Angora, but uh, Tuscany, Cafe Noir, and Angora. So these page flags are the perfect tool to highlight your important tasks and plans to help keep you on track. They're transparent. You get a set of three. There it is, matchstick page flag. Next we have the arched. Well, Arch Sticky Notes in Cortado, and there's 50 sheets. These are matte, and I don't have any other info on these on here, but there's those. Then we have half Sticky Notes. I'm really excited about these. I like the size. So these are in Cafe Noir and Tuscany again. Um, 25 sheets for each stack. And the half Sticky Notes um, feature two of our exclusive January cover colors. Tuscany and Cafe Noir. These Sticky Notes are perfect for writing notes and memos to keep in your planner. Again, matched 25 sheets in each stack. And they're 1. 0.5 by 3 inches. So that is those. These would be good for a white pen. I've got to get myself a white pen that I love. I'm still trying to find one. So this is um, Uniball Signo. I don't love it, but and that's why, because I don't like how it writes. It kind of skips, but that you can see. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Somebody make a white pen, please. Okay. Anyway. Let me just try one other. Let's try this Posca. And this one's not warmed up, so... It's for sure not going to give me any love. Anyway, you get the point. Half sticky notes. Next we have um, got our, our March calendar. And so, there's the March calendar. We have a Create Without Boundaries journaling card black and um, the back is blank and we have um, this journaling card you can put on here who your agenda belongs to and your contact info that's cute and then quick planning tools capture ideas quickly in your inbox create a task timeline allocate your resources plan at the same time every day. Write out a clear and concise plan. Categorize your task list. Schedule your top three tasks rather than adding to your task list. Include quick tasks to your task list to give yourself some wins. Revisit your task list often. Don't overwhelm yourself. Migrate tasks you don't complete. So that's good ideas there. So I'm currently doing um, my stationery for the half letter. So we have a New Beginnings dashboard, and um, there's the back side of it, which is cute. I kind of like that kind of abstract marbling effect, and I'm not going to read all this because it's pretty long, but um, and actually it may repeat. It does repeat, so I'm going to read 
part of it. How long have you been wanting something but have not asked for it? Do it this year. Ask. Step towards it. Jump. Plan it now. Explore your trends this year. Notice your thoughts, your patterns, colors, songs, and movements that make you feel good. Write them down. Integrate things that are pleasurable and playful. Detach yourself if you need to. As human beings, we love control. It is good to have your head in the clouds. A new year, an in-between of what is past and what is ahead of us. A clean slate. Excitement, but also reflection a new plan a lot of thinking too much too fast heal by replenishing what you've lost whether that is physical or emotional recenter and take it moment by moment what do you need to replenish plant the seeds water them and give them your sun I like that so i'm gonna add that to my planner that is cute then we have the balance dashboard balance is not something you find it's something you create Jana Kingsford. So I like that as well. I would love to have that for my A5, which is my wellness planner, but that is okay. We're going to work it out in our half letter. And then we have the swatch dashboard, which is that same um, Tuscany color. Okay, so we've got two dashboards and a bookmark. Then we have... Um, we have a monthly admin insert and a weekly admin insert. So the monthly admin insert, let's check and see if there is a sample. There is not, but... Um, you've got this blank calendar, so you can fill it in any time, a list, a task list section, an important dates section, and then a grid down at the bottom for next month. The back side is grid. And let's see. Looks like there's 12 of them, so... doesn't say on here but it looks like there's 12 so um, our January inserts are a staple for anyone's planning routine planning out your month will be a breeze with the monthly admin inserts on the back of each sheet we've included a notes page so that they're easy to add to any section of your planner and then we have a weekly version to complete the set the weekly inserts allow you to easily plan out the week while also keeping track of your important tasks and daily habits so this is the monthly and then for the weekly, you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the next week, you've got a place for tasks and to a checkoff list and a place for habits. Um, it says focus, and you've got the days of the week there, Monday through Sunday. And so you can check those items off as well. I feel like that's a little redundant of a habit tracker, but if it's, you know, something you want to do something different, it definitely works. I like the arch habit tracker that came in the last box. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, so you have a total of 30 weeks. So that is the inserts. And then last we have the arch folder. No other folder can compare to our new arch folder featuring a gorgeous arch shape and embossed design. This folder combines both beauty and function in one product, the inside pockets. And compartments allow you to store your papers, cards, and accessories in one folder. It is seven and a half by ten inches, and it's got the um, I guess string closure, and it's a stretchy string. It says cloth and paper established 2015. Kind of hard to see, but it's embossed on there, and then this is um, embossed as well. Let's see if let me open it up if it says something. So it looks like it is, um, there is luxury and simplicity embossed on here. And 
And we've got that same Tuscany for the closure. You've got a pocket here, two pockets here, big secretarial pocket here, a, um, it's not stretchy, it's like cardstock, so don't pull too hard, but this is a place where you can keep papers slid in there from falling out. Um, so this is very unique, very cute. Um, the cord is stretchy for closing it. And again, it does say cloth and paper. Let's see if I can get it to show. It's embossed on there. Cloth and paper established 2015. So that is the stationary side. So again, we've got our folder, our monthly admin insert, and our weekly admin insert. Our swatch dashboard, balance dashboard, new beginnings dashboard bookmark, quick planning tools, the um, like contact card, create without journaling card, and a March calendar. Then we have our half sticky notes our arched sticky notes, our match stick page flags, the um, prompt for this month, the journaling prompt, and a, I'm assuming this is a bookmark. It doesn't really have a name unless I'm missing it. Three by four functional card is what we're going to call it. Okay, so that's everything on the um, stationary side. Now let's get into the pins, which I ironically have the names for this month. At least I think I do. So I'm going to use the cloth and paper pen test sheets. And let's go through them. Here is our um, Pinspiration board. So to give you an idea of the like where the colors come from, there's like some browns and greens. Okay, so first up. have a highlighter and this is the Knight Rider Marandi highlighter. You see there it says Knight Rider pin and this is looking like a taupe or brown color. So there's the color. It's like a light light brown taupe color. I drop it. I'm going to come back to this because I'm going to see how it highlights with the pins and if it smears. Let's see. This is the Sarasa R. So it does smear a little bit. Um, You can always write on top of the highlight as well. Okay, so next we have the Zenith. Piloting Morandi gel pen in rose. This is 0.5. Sorry, let's stay in frame. So 
the zenith. Oh, I like how this writes. This has got tiny, 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 tiny bit of smearing there on the end. Nothing drastic. Um, not enough to make me dislike it. All right, so that's the zenith. It's the piloting Morandi gel pen in rose. And rose would just be the barrel color. Okay, next we have the Cinnamon Dolce Gel Pen. This one is pretty blank on the outside. Like there's nothing to distinguish it. So, um, cute design aesthetically. Get the, um, get the thing off the bottom. So this is the Cinnamon Dolce Gel Pen. I like how this writes too. I don't know what the um, nib size is. It feels like a 0.5 though. It smears though. It, that's a smearer. Um, so something to take into consideration. I do still like how it writes. You know, if I can remember to be patient, it would be fine. This might be a point four. It feels a little like it's not quite a point five. Okay, so two for two, and I like the highlighter as well. Okay, so next we have um, the Study Hard Have Fun M and G Gel Pen in light brown. There's the info, M and G, 0.5. So, this one. I'm not a super big fan of pins with caps because I lose them. So, this is the M and G. This, for me, is... Um, I like a little bit of a bolder tip, so I feel like this is probably, it says 0.5. It does not feel like a 0.5. So this is the light brown. And then there's also the MNG, same pen. Um, in green and see I already feel like just based on color the light brown doesn't feel like a 0.5 but the green does so steady hard and have fun in green I like it I like it a lot I don't have any green pens so that's cool and then last we have the Home Retro Series. Um, or it might be Homu Retro Series. 0.5 gel. This doesn't feel 0.5 either. I don't dislike it. Mm, doesn't smear. It's skippy. It's skippy a little though. Um, kind of hard to tell. It's not horrible. Let me see. I didn't check these two on smearing. I'm just looking at that and it looks wet. It smears just a little. And then let's check the white brown. Just a, just a touch. Um, you give it a second, probably five, ten seconds, they wouldn't smear. So that is this month's pin 
inspiration set. We got um, five pins and a highlighter. And you definitely need to highlight first and then write over the highlighter. I like the highlighter style, aesthetic, and the color. I'm definitely going to be putting that to use. So that um, is our pins for this month. As always, what's your favorite thing? Um, for me, this month, I like that um, New Beginnings dashboard. And I am, of course, I like page flags and post-it notes. I'm here for those. Um, so the half sticky notes and the page flags, always I'm here for it. But I'm really curious and interested to see how I can use the monthly admin insert and the weekly admin insert. So I'm going to put those into my planner tonight and give them a whirl and you will get to see them in use in a future video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're interested in the Red Dragon pin, now referred to as the Zebra Feudy brush pin, I will put a link to Amazon down below for that one as well because I do not believe cloth and paper has it available. I'll see you next time. Bye.